guys just saw in part three, the setup and PID tuning for the micro quad. We are going to step it up now to full scale and go with the SK450 quad. Now this is the same thing that Stuart converted to the dead cat. This is a standard configuration. I'm gonna take you through the components and the setup process. We'll go out and do some flying. So, the SK450. This is kind of a ubiquitous uh, quad shape and design. It's a really good flyer, very easy frame to put together, and a great introduction to building your own quads and customizing. Now, I'm gonna be using pretty much the same setup on the quads, the tries, the hexes, and the octos I'm gonna build for this series, uh, with the exception that this particular guy is gonna get 30 amp Afro ESCs instead of 20 amp Afro ESCs, because I intend to be mean to this thing and flip it around and be a general jerk with it, and in that process, might need a little extra power. Uh, we are running uh, these prop drive 2826 motors, 1000 kV. I'm a big fan of these little guys. Uh, I've used the 1200 kV ones before, but again, in this case, a little lower kV, a little bigger ESC, so I can be meaner to my quad. Uh, that's about it, really. Gonna put the ESCs and quad together also with a uh, Hextronics power distribution board. I love this little thing because it allows me to be very neat and clean and tidy in the build process yeah. by simply plugging the ESCs into this guy, Stuart approves, <laughs> uh, and also uh, it got has this little extra power pin on it. That's rad because it lets you plug in uh, LEDs and other sort of orientation aids for the quad also very easily, neatly, and cleanly. And last but not least, good old orange six channel receiver. Uh, these guys are awesome and work very well with the orange radio. So we're gonna run one of those and that's about it. Uh, thing comes with arms, body parts, bag of screws, everything you need to put it together. And these are the standard height feet. We also have super tall feet you can order for this guy if you plan to run it with a camera. Firstly, I'm going to just plug this guy in. Turn it around so it faces our buddy Jose there. And, let's see. Okay. Set. Ready? Okay. Okay, so now, as soon as Jose gets in position now, this assumes we've already gone in, we've loaded the X-copter settings, and we've loaded the uh, uh, calibration, calibrated the accelerometers, excuse me, loaded the settings, calibrated the accelerometers. So the next thing we're gonna do is just go into the PI editor, and plug in these numbers that I've come up with here for the SK450. So you go to PI editor, it's the first option in the menu, and hit enter, and you'll see that it loads up like so. Now, just like before with the dead cat we did the other day, the uh, roll and pitch uh, settings are linked, so we're not going to unlink those, we'll leave those together, and the yaw settings are on a separate screen. So first things first, I'm going to go down to the P gain, hit the change button, and we're going to change that to a value of 75. And P limit, we're going to set that down to 50. Now, you can think of these limits uh, as basically being sort of a travel adjust. So what we're doing by turning this limit down is giving the uh, copter less authority, making it a little mushier so that it is easier for first time flyers. Uh, I gain goes to 40. 
and the I limit is gonna stay at 20. Now we're going to plug those same numbers in on the yaw value. So we go up back up to the top, hit change again till we get to yaw or rudder. And same thing, I'm gonna put in 75 again. If you hold the button down, it charges through the numbers a bit faster. 75, 50 on our gain. And 40 and 20. 40 and 20. So that's it for the uh, settings there on the PID loop. Now the other thing we're gonna do is go into our self level and we're gonna mellow that out a bit too so it doesn't sit there and oscillate when it's in self level mode. Oops. So we go down here to self level settings. Hit enter again. And all we're gonna do here is reduce our P gain a bit to 90. And the limit should stay at 20. So that's it. So those should be reasonable uh, generic settings for our uh, basic SK450 in the standard configuration. So, as promised, the SK450, you wanted to see it fly, I'm gonna take it outside and do just that. Sir, would you grab the door? Yep. Helicopter. It's really awesome. So there you go. That's basic quads. Uh, we're gonna hit up tries next. So stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll get that doll for you. You know, I have my dead cat. Yeah. We should do a dead cat of this and call it a dead kitten. <laughs> it's both awesome and terrible. <laughs>